electrical resistance and Ohm's law. In this video we're going to look at what electrical resistance is and then relate this to Ohm's law. Electrons flow through a wire. That's known as an electrical current. The electrons flowing through the wire get their energy from a battery or a power supply to do that. As they flow through the wire though, they encounter something called resistance. And resistance is a property that slows down that flow of charge. It reduces the amount of energy they have as well. Remember our metal is made up of positive metal ions. As electrons flow through the wire, they are going to collide with those positive metal ions. And that slows them down. That's known as resistance. The more collisions that occur between the electrons and the ions, the more resistance there is, the more the charge is slowed down, and the more energy it's going to lose. If we think about a light bulb, our electrical charge comes into our light bulb, flows through the filament wire, and it transfers energy to the light bulb, to the component. It heats up the wire, causing the wire to glow. The reason why that electron transfers energy the component is because of resistance. So as the electron is travelling through this wire it collides with the metal ions in the wire. That causes the electron to transfer its kinetic energy to those ions, causes them to heat up. Because of this resistance the amount of, ele um, the amount of energy those electrons have is significantly reduced. The amount of heat energy stored inside the wire goes up the reason why the filament wire, this part of the light here, has such a high resistance is because it's very thin. The connecting wires are much thicker, that reduces the amount of resistance. Voltage and current are related. I want you to think about this question here. What happens to the current as I increase the voltage of a supply? So as I increase the voltage of my battery, what's going to happen to the current flowing through this wire in the circuit? Okay. Let's see what happens. So, as I increase the voltage, notice what happens to the current. Graph is being drawn here. Okay, so as the voltage increases, the amount of current also increases. So those two things are definitely related. Increasing the voltage of a, of a power supply will increase the current in the electrical circuit. However, increasing the resistance in the circuit is going to reduce that current. So whereas increasing the voltage increases the current, increasing the resistance is going to reduce the current. And that's because those charges, those electrons are slowed down as resistance increases. And the three things, resistance, current and voltage, are all linked together and it's called Ohm's law. And there's Ohm's law there. The voltage in a circuit is equal to the current multiplied by its resistance. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and rearrange this equation so that it equals current and it equals resistance. We're then going to have a go at some practice questions calculating current, resistance and voltage. OK, so some answers to these two tasks. If we rearrange the equation to equal current, the answer will be voltage divided by resistance. And if I want resistance on its own, I divide by current on both sides to bring the current down there. So resistance equals voltage divided by current. Okay, you're going to need those three equations, or the, the top one anyway, and rearrange it to answer the following questions. So you've got six to have a go at. I want you to calculate voltage, resistance and current in each of these circumstances. You've been given two, so I've been given current and resistance for the first one. I need to work out what the voltage is going to be. Pause the video, have a go at all six, and then I'll talk you through the answers. OK, we'll go through the answer to this first one then. Um, voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance. So I'm going to take the current, which is 5 amps, and I'm going to multiply it by the resistance, which is 12 ohms. 
that tells me that the voltage is going to be 60 volts remembering the unit as appropriate okay the second one resistance is voltage divided by current so I'm going to take the voltage which is 10 divide it by the current which is 5 to get my resistance being 2 ohms and the third one again it's calculating resistance that's voltage divided by current so I'm going to take my 12 volts divide it by 3 that works out at 4 ohms again okay this next one is asking you to work out current current is calculated by taking the voltage and dividing it by resistance you can take the voltage of 240 divide it by 120 ohms that gives me a current of 2 amps um, this question is asking you to calculate voltage if we remember from up here voltage is current times resistance current is 0 0.5 amps resistance is 12 ohms therefore um, voltage is 6 volts this one's asking you to work out current that's voltage time uh, sorry divided by resistance that's 100 volts divided by a resistance of 25 ohms and it gives you a current of 4 amps